Next question is regarding who are eligible for appointment of business correspondent. Okay. Business correspondent. Okay. Already UPSC have asked a question from this topic on business correspondence. Okay. You need to understand what is, who are these business correspondents. Okay. So business correspondents are appointed by banks. Okay. So banks, when they don't have uh, reach to rural area. Okay. You know that setting up a branch in rural area is very costly. It will not be viable for all the banks to set up a presence in rural area. Okay. So generally in order to address the problem, uh, in order to ensure financial inclusion. Okay. Uh, a new model in, uh, have been uh, evolved in the sense that instead of having a, a direct branches in the remote areas of our country, uh, the bank will uh, select certain individuals or certain institutions as business correspondent. What the business correspondent will do is, they will go to the doors, they will directly meet the customers at their home, they will collect deposit, okay, and the customers even they can withdraw money, uh, okay. So basically business correspondent is a representative of a bank where he will do basic banking activities at the doorstep of the customer. Okay, so this is the advantage of this business correspondent is that banks does not require any uh, branches, especially in rural, remote area. The, the the facility can be done through using this business correspondent. This question is about who all are eligible for appointment of business correspondent in India. Okay, so banks may engage. So both individuals and entities can be uh, can be uh, they are eligible to become business correspondent. So be very clear. Who are eligible to become business correspondent? They are individuals like retired bank employees, retired teachers, retired government employees, ex-servicemen, individual owners of Kirana shop or small shop, owners of medical or fair price shops, individual public call office operator, agents of small saving schemes of the government of India, or insurance companies, the agents of in insurance companies like LIC, individuals who own petrol pump, they can become business correspondent, authorized functionaries of well-run self-help groups, they can become any other individuals, including those operating as common service center, they can, they are eligible to become, uh, they are eligible to become business correspondent. Then, NGOs, Microfinancial institutions, like NGOs or microfinancial institutions, they are eligible to become uh, business correspondent. Cooperative societies, they can become business correspondent. Post offices can act as business correspondent. Companies registered under the Indian Companies Act with large and wide retail outlets, companies with retail outlets can act as uh, business correspondent. NBFCs, non-banking finance company. Okay, so be very clear, this is a very important point. NBFCs were not allowed to be appointed as business correspondent. Okay, NBFCs were not allowed as business correspondent by banks. Okay, till, uh, till 2014. But since 2000, June 2014, RBI has allowed, permitted non-deposit, very important. Okay, non, see, till from 2004, till 2014, NBFCs were not allowed as business correspondent but from June 2014 onwards non-deposit taking okay not normal NBFCs non-deposit taking NBFCs can be appointed as are eligible to become a business correspondent okay now we will try to solve this question okay so who are eligible for appointment as business correspondent for bank you know that post office yes post office non-deposit taking NBFCs yes individual owners of Kirana shop yes Individuals operating uh, uh, as common service center, yes, all qualify. 1, 2, 3, 4. Answer will be D. 1, 2, 3 and 4. 